Hey YouTube, Kiriyama Sparta here, uh, again with another comic book review. I promised I'm actually sticking with it this time. I've uploaded a lot of videos and, and stopped halfway through. I'll finish yeah. those eventually, <laughs> eventually. Um, as you may remember, it's my good friend Sarah, uh, one of the few women I know that actually knows comic books. Yay. I know. I found a unicorn. <laughs> Go figure. Oh, oh. I'm a unicorn. What color? Of am course I? you do. You're a girl. What color am I? What color am I? Black and red, with white face and a jester hood. Oh, not bad. There you go. Not bad. Yeah, I'll yeah. accept that. Yeah. Or you know, I could go. Your your new origin story you just and stop just now. yeah yeah. Anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah, we're uh, gonna be doing Ozzy Mendeus number two. Uh, just came out today, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, so we will be getting these up every Wednesday. Uh, we're sticking with the Before Watchmen right now. If you want to see everything we said about the uh, uh, last comic books, I'll put a link uh, down below. Uh, but yeah, uh, want to jump right into it? Let's do it. All right. So uh, if you watched our last one, you know how Ozymandias, uh number one ended. Him basically uh, putting on his costume because his girlfriend or wife. Was his girlfriend. Wife? It was just girlfriend. <laughs> right. See, I'm still not too good on it. Uh, she OD'd. She OD'd and he's mad. And uh, basically, yeah, it starts off with him uh, looking for the uh, son of a bitch who sold her the drugs, pretty much. More or less, yeah. More or less, yeah. Um, and then you get a lot of uh, pretty good backstory about Ozymandias, once again, being a prequel. That's what you're going to get a crap yeah. ton of. Um, but like I was telling Sarah earlier before, the uh, uh, my favorite thing was apparently his costume that he wears was just... He was just going to work like a costume party, Halloween. like a Halloween party. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he's like, fuck it, I'll fight crime in that. Don't care. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, the origin of his costume. I thought that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, and before we get a bit too deeper, uh, looking at this again, I thought I'd just mention the uh, uh, cover's a little odd. Just, just, just a little? Just a little bit. It's a little... Uh, that doesn't happen in this no. comic. This, I, it's very misleading. Very misleading. I was disappointed. I was waiting for her to show waiting up. Waiting for the BDSM chick to show up? I want my BDSM chick. That's what you have Night Owl for. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. Oh, that'll be coming up soon, too. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, very odd cover, but by the end here, it, I guess it's kind of... Metaphorical. Metaphorical. I mean, something that makes you think in Watchmen? That's... <laughs> you're talking crazy. I know. Anywho... So, uh, he goes out on the town uh, to find out where the drugs are coming from. He's on a revenge kick. Mm -hmm. uh, and first he finds was, like uh, first he finds this gentleman, if you can see. Uh, was that the actual drug dealer? Where? I believe. This guy. The black guy? Yeah. He's a drug dealer. He's a drug dealer. Okay. A blood. Drug dealer. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> the blood dealer. Um, yeah, so he finds a drug dealer basically to try and get some information out of him. Uh, I'll just continue on while she while she does that. Um, okay. Get some <laughs> get some information out of him to find uh, basically where they would have come from. Uh, so he does, and it's it's funny every time he. Uh, there's a lot of inner dialogue in this, like the last one, uh, the Ozymandias ones. They have a lot of dialogue. They actually tell you in the beginning of this one that he's, that he's an autobiography. Right, and right. And he's narrating it to someone as per the opening mm -hmm. couple pages. Couple pages, because there's actually him in Bubastis? Bubastis. Bubastis. The, the kitty. The weird kitty thing. It's so cool. It was in one scene in the movie and then it died. No, oh, I like <laughs> cat. Funny. Anywho, uh, so it's, it's kind of funky because, yeah, uh, it's the autobiography and if you've seen the Sherlock Holmes movies, he has like Sherlock Holmes vision. Where like basically as soon as someone's gonna do something and he's already like planning everything that's gonna happen. Um, Cause you know, of course, being ridiculously strong and fast ain't good smart. enough. He's gotta be smart too, like beyond smart, like computer smart. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the drug dealer goes down easily, breaks his arm, uh, leaves him tied up to a pole, and decides to go confront the, uh, the main drug dealer uh, I can't remember his name, but they're, they're the main drug dealer, and he basically yeah, it goes. A, uh, it's a P. It's P something. It's a P. It's P something. Probably pronounced differently. Papa. Papa. Porcini. Porcini. 
Bam. Probably butchered that. Yeah. Probably butchered that. Bam, good. the Italians. Um, so yeah, he's got a little kind of coke operation going on at the moment. You see a bunch of topless uh, Asian chicks doing that. So hey, you know, you get that at least if you if you're not liking the comics so far. Yeah. Did you not see that scene? Oh, I noticed that. Yeah. yeah. She's judging you all. Anyway, uh, so he breaks in. Uh, of course they're laughing at him. I mean, who wouldn't laugh at this yeah. golden purple guy? <laughs> um, but no, he immediately messes them all up. Um, pretty quickly, like in one thought out plan. Yeah. Like, the whole time they're talking, there's like a little scene of his eye and you see like a whole bunch of like symbols and stuff going into it. She'll... Ta-da! Ta-da! See right there in the, cir in the circle. Um, he's like thinking in math. It's like he sees math in yeah. the air. Um, which leads him to uh, uh, my favorite uh, scene in the whole comic here is they kind of go into a two-page spread of just black and yellow. Watchmen, of course. So I was like, this is cool. And it goes through every step he does. Um, basically just destroying people with this circlet thing he's got on his head. It feels like the Xena... It's kind of like the Xena Chakram. Yeah. I probably butchered that name too. but The circle. The circle. Uh, he uses that Knocks out everybody, um, except the main boss. Yeah. And of course, what he's done leads to a huge, like all the coke goes up in the air. So of course they can't see, they can't do anything, which makes him take him out quite easily. Mm -hmm. And of course, he's trained martial arts, so you know he doesn't he doesn't need to breathe. He doesn't need to breathe for very long. Um, and then the boss sneaks up behind him, but he planned that, and uh, a light falls on him. So that was pretty good. I liked that. Yeah. Um, then, of course, at that moment, the cops show up, um, immediately go, yeah, we recognize everyone here. Who's that guy? And, you know, he goes on his whole, he I, goes, yeah, he does yes. his big, I'm better than you speech. Yeah. This is my world. Mm -hmm. And immediately jumps out and the cops are like, great, another costumed freak. Yep. Uh, so he realizes he, he kind of likes what he, he kind of enjoyed that. So he decides to kind of stick with it. Um, they show him, you know, going through a lot of different things, like stopping people, selling drugs at the docks, um, just being up regular criminals and everything. And, you know, he's, he's, he's getting started, so it's just, uh, he's not getting any real challenge from it. Um, and I forget what sets him off, because basically he decides he wants to find out what happened to Hooded Justice. Is, he was uh, just doing research on all of the Minutemen before him, because this takes place after Minutemen already disbanded. Mm -hmm. And this is when Night Owl, the second one, is coming around. Right, right. And he's just trying to figure out what happened to everybody so he can not make their mistakes. Oh, right. the word yeah, uses. yeah. And the only one that he can't find any information on is Hooded Justice. Right, and you know, that was also a big thing in Watchmen. Mm -hmm. um, that apparently he was gay. I think he is. I, don't, I think they allude to it in the last Minutemen, actually. Possibly. I think they do. Don't remember. Read a lot of comics. You do. You do read a lot of comics. So good for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, he decides to go off uh, to try and find out what happened to Hooded Justice. Uh, goes looking around and of course goes back to the docks. Um, and immediately gets assaulted. Yep. <laughs> Uh, a lot of bullets, of course, he dodges it easily. Um, I think he improvises, grabs a trash can, and throws it Captain America style uh, at the comedian. What? Yeah, comedian shows up, and uh, uh, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, once again, the art style, it's the same style, so yeah. it's awesome, but I don't know. Comedian just looks a little... A little Asian. A little Asian, a little... I don't know. I think... It seems kind of anime-ish, His yeah. mask is very long, and those weird cheek shadows make him look like he has a, a little one of the fancy, like, samurai mustaches or something. Yeah. That's why I think it looks a little bit Asian Might in be. that shot. But yes. So small, small quibble. Yeah, small quibble. There's just a little odd, but the comedian shows up, so... Uh, of course it's going to end on that. Mm -hmm. um, that's the one thing I forgot about single issues, is... Cliffhangers. cliffhangers every hey. time you got to keep buying them I mean, I'm gonna buy them regardless but uh, so we get to look forward to them duking it out again probably in number three I'd imagine by duking it out I'd, I'd imagine Ozzy Mendez would hand his ass to him <laughs> hand his ass to him uh, but yeah uh, that's Ozzy Mendez number two so far uh, still really into it I'm, I'm still quite enjoying it uh, once again I didn't think I would wasn't a big fan of Ozzy Mendez in the uh, 
in the actual comic. In the original one. In the original Watchmen, yeah, I was just kind of like, okay, whatever. I get his plan, but I just didn't like him. But I'm I'm really enjoying this, and of course the art. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's it's really good. Is is it Jay Lee? Uh, Len Wein. It's Lin Len, Len Wein. Uh, no, you were right the first time. I'm a dear I was liar. right. She happens. Learn you something. One uh, thing uh, I noticed about the art, mm -hmm. usually when you see a naked woman, she's going to be like perfectly sculpted, even in the shots in the first one mm -hmm. with his girlfriend. Right, right. She's in the lingerie. It was gorgeous. But one thing that the artist did with these, I don't know if it's too dark in here for you to see, but for one of you these... You get right um, up to the camera. Mm -hmm. There you go. Asian Asian ladies. I don't know where it is in the camera. But the artist drew a little bulge on her stomach. Yeah. Which I thought was awesome, not... I don't want to sound like a creeper. Yeah. But it's nice seeing. It's refreshing seeing a Women realistic, portrayed realistically. A realistic human body. Yeah, that hasn't happened in comics in forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in forever. I thought they all looked like that until I was 10. Then I learned something. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, so far really good. You enjoying it so far? Yeah. One thing I am noticing is because of the narration, because it is an autobiography, it feels a lot like a very smart version of a Golden Age comic. Yeah. Like with the constant, and then That's I did true. this, and then I did that. But in his case, he uses very big words because he's super smart, and he's describing everything. Mm -hmm. And only one time does he use like lower level. Asshole. Language when he calls a guy an asshole because he called him an asshole first, and that's you know. That's how just the worst. Yeah, that was right after the light fell on. Yep. <laughs> Calls the guy an asshole. That was pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm into it so far. Uh, and of course, next week, Rorschach number one. I look forward to this. I'm sure you are. <laughs> it's Azarello. <laughs> Should be good. Should I don't be good. See why wouldn't be. Comedian. It's got me a little worried, but once again, I, I guess I guess if I'm not in. I guess if I don't enjoy the Rorschach one, I can just keep reading the Night Owl one. He's in it enough to, to make me happy. That's fair enough. Guess which one's my favorite Watchman, and probably most of yours. Who is your favorite Watchman anyway? I don't know. You don't know? All of them. All of them? Sure. That's fair. Why not? I'm not a favorite. Really? Yeah. I don't really like Silk Spectre. I didn't in the original because she's very whiny. Yeah. Yeah. But whatever. Every character is different. Everybody's a snowflake. They're all different. Everyone's yeah. unique. Everyone's unique. Um, but yeah, we'll have War, uh, Rorschach uh, number one. Uh, they actually fixed that typo in that one. Did they? <laughs> they I did. I, I, I took a look. It actually says Rorschach number one. Last week it said Rorschach number two, so I got really confused. Yeah. I was like, was wait, weird. did I miss one? What what, what <laughs> happened? Um, but yeah, we'll have that up uh, next Wednesday. And uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Another, sorry, oh. I got very excited. Oh, I she's had another, excited. I had another thought while I was reading this. This doesn't happen very often. No. No. But one yeah. thing I noticed with him, he never calls himself a, a vigilante. He calls himself a masked adventurer, I think. Right. Once. So right. he clearly enjoys what he does and thinks he's doing everything for fun. And exactly. not to necessarily... Yeah. You know what I mean. I know what you mean. I can't uh, communicate my thoughts very well sometimes. I'm too smart. Like, That's right. Yeah, you're on a level above everybody else. That's what happens. Um, but yeah, we're going to be continuing on with the Watchmen's uh, until they go away, <laughs> which it will be about a year. I think. Well. I think we still got about another year. Um, we are coming close to uh, zero month mm -hmm. uh, for DC, and uh, we're going to start doing some of the uh, new relaunches yes. uh, when that begins, because we want to start with zero. And then one, two, three, you know what I mean. Because um, I'm sure you're itching to talk about Suicide Squad. Yeah, it came out today too, and I read it. Yeah? I read it. It's good. I read it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you read it. Okay. I read it. That's her review. She read it. I read it. Uh, yeah, so looking forward to that. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have more comic book reviews on the way uh, once again. Uh, I'm Kiriyama Sparta. Uh, it's Sarah. Yeah. Hey. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like or subscribe button. It's always appreciated. Uh, more comic book reviews on the way. Bye.